what we're going to do here, we got a product we're showcasing. It's called Quick Wall. It's a quick create product here. Uh, what it's designed for is to uh, build mortarless walls. So we're going to build a little wall here. Uh, it's polymer modified and it has a ton of fiberglass into it. So it acts as like the rebar in uh, concrete. So it really holds well. Um, you can go right over, right over the wall here. Um, using this, building a wall, it'll be stronger than a block wall built with mortar. So it's a pretty cool product. Um, also, you could add any coloring to it. So if, say you had a customer that had a wall that's kind of deteriorating, falling apart, looking pretty bad, you could use this, go over the top, touch it up, add any decorative color if you want as well. Just like that? Just like that. Yeah. So uh, we're going to mix them up. We're going to add the color to it. Um, I'm going to do one of the facings for you guys to show you. Then uh, on the rest of these, I'll have you guys touch it up so you get a little experience playing with it. It's a really easy product to use. So uh, we're going to put a little water in the bucket, add some product, mix it up. You don't need a paddle mix it. It's just easier that way. So let's get started here. So this is quick yeah. block? This is our block. Uh, this is our mid mid strength block, 8816. Or no, this is the 6. 6816. Yeah. So we uh, we do make wall block. So. Oh, nice. Alright. Um, with the color, you want to mix it into the, your water first and then the water into the product. That way you get nice, even, consistent color. If you mix the product up with the water, then pour this into the top you'll get kind of like a, a swirl or marble type effect to it. So, this. Let me use about half of that. And same thing with your paddle mixer. So make sure you go slow. Yeah, if you if you mix too fast, it's gonna end up all over you. And since this product's white, it'll really show the color well. Does anyone know why you put the water in first? So it can mix well, right? Yeah. So if you put the product in first, then the water on top. You're going to have some dry spots at the bottom and it won't mix evenly. This is a somewhat fast setting product. Uh, you have about 30 minutes to work with it, so only mix up what you could use in about 30 minutes. Just like pancakes, add a little water, add a little mix. You want like a nice, even peanut butter type of consistency. Also, when you're using this bit on the drill, don't let off immediately, slow the drill down because it's so much weight that'll stop the motor too fast and will ruin your drill. Alright. Alright, we'll put a little water on the block. Yeah, actually. Yeah, it helps to wet, wet the block down as well. Uh, acts as almost like a glue. Yeah. Load it up. 
start at the bottom and work your way. Still a little loose and soupy. And this does have a sand in it as well, so uh, if you wanted a more of a sand finish, you could just use a. Uh, you know, a brush or a sponge or something once it's setting up and uh, pull it back out. Yeah, you can see I mixed it a little wet. It's uh, starting to drip and fall off the wall. It should be a little more sticky and, and not do that. So this is a, uh, a Portland-based product. So uh, it's going to accept any stains or colorings or anything that you would use in a normal concrete mix. Has anyone ever built a block wall before? Yeah. Have you guys done it here for the school? No. no. So like I said, this is this is an alternative. Use this as a replacement and it all holds it together, huh? Exactly. So we'll do uh, the last part of the demo is we'll we'll lift this wall today. And it all holds together, huh? It all holds, yep. Wow. That's very impressive, honestly. So with this, that's about as about as good as you need. Let it sit up for a bit, then we'll come back. If you want, you can wet your trowel more so you have a nice uh, Perfectly smooth. Yeah, it'll look like the side of this building where it's the nice. Uh, so that's gonna hold up the little wall? Yeah, or so we're gonna go all around. But you don't all, need a full cement inside. No, nothing inside. No rebar down the center, no core fill. Nothing. nothing. We've done a demo before where we built a four foot tall wall with this on both sides and had a forklift support it from either side and we had about six guys standing on top of it. So nothing supporting in the middle. It, supported all the guys on top of it. So, uh, who wants to give it a shot? We've got plenty of product. Mm -hmm. we'll have, you, uh, <laughs> have you hit one side, then we'll have someone else hit the next side. Yeah. Matate. You're messed up for sure, dog. All right, dog. All right, next. <laughs> Bottom up. Like Keep your, your trowel at an angle. You want to push push this edge of the trowel down and pull the product up. There you go. So again, maybe you know your customer has an old wall that's falling apart. Uh, instead of you know breaking it down and going through a remortar new new block you can use this straight over the top and hold it that you can give them a nice finish so if they want more of like that uh decorative type look this would be good for it 
Hey, but Chance, do you know if uh, Rapid Set has like. Rapid Set has a product similar. Um, it's a little different. There's this Eisen wall. Uh, it doesn't have. Eisen wall doesn't have the fiber. Yeah. Yeah. Eisen wall does. If they do, it's very, very little fiber. This is. A lot of fiber. Yeah, this is a lot of fiber. Like I have a friend that works for Rapid Set. He okay. does the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, also, their water mix, you could do this. Uh, again, a little different of a product. Their mortar mix is kind of like an all around concrete patch. Yeah. So, uh, also, Rapid Set all dries like a, a tannish brown, kind of white tan yeah, brown. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, if you're doing any patching, you, you have to match it. It's yeah. funky. Not that's dope. Like, I've never seen. Uh, Throw it like that, that's mm -hmm. crazy, man. And you could even, if you use the, the margin trial, grab some of this and you could shove it in that hole and fill it. That's from the block. Perfect. All right, someone else want to jump on the back side? Also, a reason you wet it is uh, block is very porous and it will suck the water out of the product. So if you wet it down first, it won't pull all the water out. Uh, your product will tend to dry or crack if, uh, if you don't wet, wet it. Huh? All right, so with a few more trials of someone go. We can mix up a little more product. Um, if someone wants to start on this wall as well. <laughs> careful with these trials, they are sharp. So careful the edges. Pablo, get that. Pablo, use that one. Yeah, we got the, the color in it. 
Hi, this is David O'Dell with O'Dell Complete Concrete. I have Brandon here with uh, Quickcrete. And what we did today was we applied this stucco. We had all the students from Hope Builders actually apply a little bit on these blocks. There's no mortar in between the blocks. What we're gonna find out is, is this stuff strong enough in four hours to lift all three of these blocks without them separating. And are you ready to do this? Let's try it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to lift all three of these in one piece. If I can lift it. Oh, I got two. Two came up. You know what? It was stuck to the plastic. Hey, you know what's fitting out here though? The, this one's a bond bean, so it couldn't get the full yeah. attachment. Oh, you're right. Okay. Let's these move. aren't these aren't bond beams. Okay, let's try this one. So mortarless block with stucco. <laughs> oh. Uh, well. Maybe we needed a thicker coat. Yeah, probably thicker coat, but we still do have two. Look at that. And this is a thicker coat. Look how thick this one is compared to that, those blocks. See? This is about a quarter inch. Quarter inch thickness here. Let's see what we got over here. About 3 sixteenths. So the reason it holds so well is all the fiber that's built into this product. Um, so you can see here, this is what's holding everything together, acting like a little bar in the concrete. Oh yeah, that fiber. That's some big fiber right there. That's that's the key to it. Anyway, we'll do some more experiments later. Make sure you stay tuned because we have another video that we did at this school. And it's a lot of different concrete samples and finishes. Thanks. Bye.